I want to give thanks to the Discover Seattle Colleges team for extending to me this opportunity to come and speak to you about the associate's degree track one uh, with the emphasis in biology, which can be used by students who are interested in pursuing a career uh, in uh, medicine, becoming a doctor, a physician, or becoming a dentist, or um, becoming a pharmacist, uh, physical therapist, and a number of other health-related fields. I want to take a moment here to turn on my PowerPoint presentation and share a few slides with you as I tell you more about this associate's degree in biology. And I am almost there, almost ready. Okay. So the Associate of Science degree uh, in, in biology is a two year program that is offered not only at uh, South Seattle College where I am, but it is also offered at Seattle Central and it's also offered at North Seattle College. People who are uh, interested in taking this program are often thinking about pursuing a career in biology, chemistry, environmental science, geology, earth science, but interestingly also students who are interested in uh, pursuing a career uh, in the field of medicine, becoming a physician, uh, becoming a dentist or a pharmacist also come and take this program. And I say interestingly because I am a biologist by trade and uh, I wish that I would see more students in my classes who are going for a biologist a biology degree to be a biologist. But the reality is that most students in my class, like you watching this presentation, actually want to go into med school and dentistry and uh, all of those uh, highly rewarding uh, careers. So let me tell you more about what we do while learning biology. Here at South Seattle College and all three colleges in our district, we take pride in bringing to students the, the best learning experiences. We, we are uh, committed to provide excellence in our teaching so that students can also achieve excellence while they are learning. And, and I've just decided to share with you a few photos from the laboratory where I teach biology. Uh, here you can see some students that uh, are designing an experiment to see how plants lose water under different condition, conditions like drought or extreme heat. And uh, it is through the process of inquiry and developing hypotheses and testing hypotheses that a lot of the discoveries we now have in the fields of medicine and dentistry have led to solutions to live healthier lives, to live longer. And so um, students do that. Uh, students in my labs also learn how to use the microscope and, and how to make uh, accurate uh, representations of cells and tissues, which again are, are levels of organization in biology that anyone interested in a health related field must uh, master, must really understand. In, in this activity, actually students were looking at uh, different types of microorganisms that are responsible for causing diseases uh, like some protists and bacteria and, and so it, the learning that you uh, experience when you're in one of these programs is going to be extremely hands-on because uh, the courses include not only a, a lecture theory, uh, theory part of teaching, but also a laboratory experiences as well. Uh, down here is the same experiment where students are looking at the effects of the environment on plant transpiration. Uh, we, not only limit our learning and teaching to the classroom here on campus at South, but we also take students out uh, in out to the real world. And, and so we were uh, taking students uh, recently to the Fred Hutch uh, Cancer Research Institute, meeting the scientists who are at the forefront, the, you know, the frontiers of understanding uh, not so much how to treat cancer. I mean, that's important, but they're also looking at ways of how to understand cancer better in a way that we can prevent it. So, so preventing diseases. 
uh, is one of those interesting topics you're going to be learning with this uh, AS Associate of Science uh, Track 1 degree in biology. Uh, what else? We go to uh, places like the aquarium to learn more about uh, animals that live in the ocean. And you may be wondering, how does the study of marine life benefit someone who is studying medicine or someone who's studying dentistry? Would you be surprised to know that the latest techniques that are being used during a surgical procedure to, to put together, to tie together tissues uh, that are going to be surrounded by body fluids and blood, actually those techniques are being developed from the adhesives that uh, animals that live in the ocean, like sea stars, we call them also starfish, what they produce to attach themselves underwater to a rock. Uh, we know, for uh, example, that from compounds found in sponges, which are marine invertebrates, uh, scientists are discovering new ways of treating diseases like cancer. And uh, as I said, the nice thing about a degree like this associate's degree we offer at the Seattle Colleges is that you don't stay uh, in the classroom. You actually go uh, in the world and, and learn about uh, different aspects of life and how to understand life so we can take care of life better. So uh, what do you learn? Uh, when we think about what do we learn in this degree, uh, let's think about, for example, about the type of faculty we, you could have as instructors when you're taking classes at South, for example. These are my colleagues at South Seattle College, uh, Seattle Central, Seattle North. They have their own uh, excellent instructors as well. Here at South, I have a colleague named uh, Dr. Amanda Vega, who specializes in teaching anatomy and physiology. So many students who are interested in pursuing a nursing degree will go through her classes. Also, Dr. Henry Olson teaches microbiology, uh, and he also teaches classes in the uh, majors biology, students who are preparing uh, to apply for med school and, and dental school and um, these types of careers. Uh, we have chemists also that are uh, participating in the teaching of classes in this AS track. One degree, uh, among them, we have uh, Dr. Jessica Pickle, who teaches general chemistry, majors chemistry, Professor Stephanie Ensley teaches organic chemistry. And uh, these are the kinds of courses you will be taking to complete this degree. I'll show you in just a moment what the program requirements are. Skills you will be learning. I, I just want to emphasize things I already mentioned. Uh, students learn how to uh, ask questions about the natural world and, and design an experiment that will hopefully provide an answer to those questions. How to collect data, how to analyze data. Uh, all scientists who are working in the field of medicine need to uh, put into practice these kinds of skills. Hypothesis testing, critical thinking, oh my gosh. Uh, if you actually do a Google search, I, I dare you to do this, Google search, uh, hypothesis, I'm sorry, critical thinking. And, and you will find that most applications of critical thinking come in the field of nursing. Nurses uh, are so, you know, trained into how to provide the best care for patients. And uh, uh, you learn to do all of these things in the program that I am describing to you right now. Microscopy, the, the, the use of the microscope is so important because many of the levels of life that are relevant to health, like cells and tissues, you cannot see those objects with the naked eye. You have to use a microscope to see what is going on in those little uh, tiny like microscopic worlds of living things. Modern lab techniques in chemistry, in biology, DNA research, all of these things are going to be uh, the types of skills that are going to be embedded in the courses I am going to be showing you. I just wanted to show you one more thing since I'm making emphasis here on, on, on the nature of uh, um, in, uh, inquiry and, and hypothesis testing and developing hypotheses and, and testing hypotheses. These are the kinds of uh, research uh, professional research grade work that our students do. These are three of my students, and they were looking at uh, finding the genes in bacteria 
that are so beneficial from the point of view of agriculture, uh, making wheat plants be resistant to fungus diseases. And uh, this type of study of DNA uh, it, it, today is so important in the medical field as well. So students that are graduating for, from our program, uh, the AS degree, track one in biology, they go over to transfer to a four year program and they are really well prepared to not only deal with the classes that they will be taking in the upper division levels, but also to work in whatever undergrad and graduate level research opportunities may be presented uh, to them. So let's take a look at this pathway in biology. I'm going to see if I can uh, enlarge things a little bit and move you through uh, the program requirements. This is a program that can be completed in two years. We don't have necessarily prerequisites uh, to enter the program. In fact, we have many students who are taking these classes you see at the same time they are taking high school. So I, I wouldn't even be able to say you have to have a high school degree before you can come here. You, people can actually begin uh, from high school as a running start student taking these classes we have here. So here we have this breakdown, quarter one, people will be taking uh, some basic math classes, introductory biology classes, uh, some uh, computer science as well, because the, the, the field of um, uh, knowing how to not only uh, use computers, but also the applications that are necessary to understand medical information are so important. Uh, you will see also classes like English, reading, communicating, writing reports, doctors, nurses, they all have to do these kinds of work. So you'll see those classes uh, embedded in there. There will be math, there will be calculus. This is part of becoming a scientist. And it's also going to be one of those areas where you learn critical thinking. By year two, you're going to be really diving into the courses that are prerequisites for med school, for uh, dentistry, uh, for pharmacy, like majors, biology, majors, chemistry, uh, some physics, and you will also see that there are options. There are electives like foreign language, which is so important for anyone working in, in the medical field to uh, be able to speak not only English, but also other languages that are spoken by the members of the community we are serving. So this uh, is just a real walkthrough. I'm not listing all the courses you have to take. This information can be found in our Seattle College's website. You can go to the search option in our Seattle College's website and you can look for the AS track one degree in biology and you will be able to see a program outline like this one I'm sharing with you. Uh, in terms of uh, the biology pathway, what careers opportunities are there for people who go here? Let's focus on this for a moment. So biologists, uh, I wish I see more of those in my classes, uh, but as I mentioned just a moment ago, the majority of my students are interested in med school. They are interested in a career in dentistry, uh, in um, pharmacy, uh, in being physical therapists. And, and that's why it was so important to include this degree in today's presentation, which focus on health and all these allied health fields uh, that students have an option to attend. Um, what is the main requirement, I would say, to, to get, get into one of these careers? Uh, just, just have a passion for uh, caring for humans, for improving the quality of life of people, and uh, you can be a successful uh, physician or dentist or whatever career within these uh, fields you see on the screen uh, you may want to pursue. Uh, so I just decided to focus on a few careers and, and jobs uh, and what you want to do. So I want to talk, for example, about the education required. When we're talking about pre-med, uh, three to four years, the first two years of pre-med are, uh, can be fulfilled with the requirements of this AS track one degree. So students will usually do the first two years, then go and do another year of prerequisites, and then they are ready to apply for med school. 
uh, med school is about four years. Then there's MD training, two years, residency, another two to five years. It's a long pathway, but it's very rewarding in terms of the difference you make in the lives of people, but also the compensation you receive. I mean, come on, being a doctor is like one of the best paid careers, not only here in the US, but also around the world. As I go through some of the other um, options people can follow upon completion of this associate's degree you can earn at the Seattle colleges, you will see that the number of years to earn the degree are going to be uh, going down. Uh, but before I move away from physician, and you will see on all of these careers, job opportunities upon graduation, you will have multiple job offers. The demand for people trained as professionals in the fields of medicine, dentistry, uh, therapy, uh, it's, it's just, we are not able to match the demand for people training these fields and, and the number of people who are graduating are just not enough. So you will have a job guaranteed, I promise you. You'll have places to choose where you want to go and practice your profession. For a physician's assistant, where you save some time following these degrees, you don't have to do a residency that is two to five years long. The physician assistant is different from the physician in that the physician assistant has to work uh, under the supervision of a physician, but they do a lot of the same things as a doctor does. They do a consultation with patients. In some states, they can prescribe medications. In other states in the United States, a physician's assistant can do the refills, but a doctor has to be the one that is writing the prescriptions. It varies from state to state. Now, the, the yearly salary, you can see that it's going to be about half of what a physician makes, but it doesn't cost as much in terms of uh, the education uh, that is required and also the amount of time that it takes to become a physician assistant. In some parts of the United States, uh, physician assistants and nurse practitioners are hired at uh, family medicine uh, clinics, and, and they're actually doing the same job as a physician. For a nurse practitioner, a student can begin with our associates in uh, uh, biology and then transfer to a BSN or transfer to an RN program that takes about two to four years. Then they have to apply for a nurse practitioner program, which is two to four years. And the salary compensation for physician assistants and nurse practitioners is going to be about the same. Again, jobs upon graduation, guaranteed. There will be many places fighting uh, over you, trying to convince you to go to work at their hospital or clinic. We're just not graduating enough uh, professionals with these degrees. Um, then other fields, I'm, I'm selecting here some of the fields that students in my classes tell me this is what they want to pursue. Uh, a dentist, the pre-dental degree is usually a, a bachelor's degree. Remember that our associate's degree, which is two years, that's the first two years out of four that you will be completing. When you transfer to a university, a four-year university, you just have like two more years to complete and then you have your pre-dental uh, prerequisites. You apply to dental school, that's another four years. And um, you know what? I realized that there is something wrong here. Something got carried over that shouldn't be here. And I'm going to make the correction so that you don't walk away from this meeting with the wrong information. So having deleted that information was, was incorrect. I can go back to my presentation. So dental school is four years. So now you're looking at eight years of education, the two years you're doing here at the Seattle Colleges in your Associates of Science Track One degree are included in there. Uh, please keep that in mind. The salaries of dentists are really uh, good here in the United States. Uh, physical therapy is going to be sometimes less years in, in three to four years of prerequisites. The prerequisites for physical therapy can be fulfilled with the courses we provide in our 
associate's degree uh, track one in biology. And I, I promise you, my students in my classrooms, many of them are doing those prerequisites. Later, they transfer to take maybe one more year of university before applying for physical therapy school, which is about three years. Uh, you can see the compensation for uh, physical therapists. These are averages, which are ranging. Uh, they have a range because in one state, the average may be a little bit lower. In another state, they may be higher. Here in the Puget Sound area, uh, you have one of the most competitive salaries in the United States for any of these medical related fields. Pharmacists are also in high demand. Uh, you graduate with a degree of a doctor of pharmacy and you are going to have a job guaranteed. Uh, requisites is two to three years. I emphasize one last time, the classes you take while completing your associates of science degree in biology are included in these prerequisites. Sometimes students need to take another year uh, upon transferring before applying to farm school, which is about four years and compensation is real good. So what can you take from this information? It's like, yes, it takes longer to graduate with one of these degrees that are, you know, four, five, six more years after your associate's degree. Uh, but the, the assurance of having a job upon graduation and the kind of compensation makes it worth the effort. And don't forget that you're working with people, improving the quality of life for people and uh, helping them uh, live better, happier, healthier. And that in itself is highly rewarding. Uh, you uh, may have some questions for me that you may uh, be wanting to contact me. I will be happy to provide additional information about what all three Seattle colleges, Seattle Central, North Seattle College and South Seattle College, uh, we all, all offer this AS Track 1 degree in biology. And I can, I can give you information about the program itself, the, the course requirements that we offer at any of these colleges. And if I don't have a specific answer, I will put you in contact with someone who can give you more details. Here on the slide, you can see my uh, email address. There's also my telephone extension. If you call me and I'm not in my office, you can leave a voicemail message. I will receive it and I will get back to you. I'm looking forward to uh, hear questions that anyone watching this presentation may have for me. And I wish you the best of success in your career and your studies here at the Seattle Colleges. Goodbye.